I can get access to my car, so uh, you know, if I ever lock my keys in my car, uh, it just has a little sensor right by the windshield that I place my hand next to. It unlocks the car door and I can get in. I am the founder and director of Awesome at Dangerous Things. We sell mostly the low frequency tags, the XEM tag. It's very simple to get that tag and a reader that's very low cost and build a very simple access control system. A couple of years ago, I was selling a tag maybe once a week, um, maybe. And uh, now we're looking at uh, at least one a day. We've sold probably around two to 3,000 implants uh, across all the different types. I have two RFID implants. Uh, one in my left hand is very simple. It's a low frequency tag. So if you have a door that can read one of these tags, the door asks the tag for its number, checks an access control list, and then opens the door. In my right hand, I have an XNT, which is our, you know, the world's only uh, NFC implantable uh, RFID tag. It not only works with access control systems, but it also allows you to store data on the tag. I can put like my business card on my hand for sharing URLs or videos or anything like that. One of the reasons why we started Dangerous Things was to be able to provide tags that were actually safe for implantation. We wrote a, a procedure guide just to show how and where it should be placed in the hand, how to properly orient the tag, keep it away from bone. We quickly followed that up by starting to build a partner network of professional piercers and body modification artists. Um, those are the people that work in shops and they place jewelry in weird places and have no problem dealing with um, you know, sterile procedures. And we've got uh, somewhere around 50 partners right now around the world. Both clients and professionals are uh, everywhere in the world. So Australia, Russia, France, the UK, US, Canada, Mexico, it's everywhere. I think biometrics is actually probably the future of self-identity. In the future, we're gonna see a lot of devices that are right now wearable. The next natural progression is to move those devices or several parts of them internally. So a marriage between a wearable device and an implant.